to ask the Minister if make a statement on the reopening of the King's Court rail line. Never mind. Never mind. Just in time. Um, <laughs> Unfortunately for you, maybe. <laughs> and, and, uh, on full steam from the, from the uh, LH2000, no, no doubt. Um, I, I was mentioning earlier on in a response to Deputy Canny that the strategic rail review has been undertaken in conjunction with the Department of Infrastructure in Northern Ireland, and that will inform the development of the railway sector on the island of Ireland over the coming decades. The review will consider the potential scope for improved rail services along various existing and potential future corridors of the network. And that scope will also include the potential afforded by disused and closed lines, such as the King's Court line. Separately, the Deputy will be aware of the work underway by the National Transport Authority in relation to the review of the transport strategy for the Greater Dublin area. The draft review is recommending the development of a rail line to Navan by 2042. I understand that this rail line will utilise the old Kingsford line over a short distance, uh, connecting the proposed Navan Central Station with the proposed Navan North Station. More generally, I can assure the deputies that as well as looking at the issues relation to interurban and interregional rail connectivity and the potential for higher and higher speeds, the rail review will also consider improving connectivity to the northwest and the border region. I've already stated my belief in the potential of rail. It's essential that we identify current constraints in the rail sector, then balance decarbonisation priorities, economic growth and rural connectivity objectives to achieve a strategy which allows rail to fulfil its potential as a resilient and sustainable mode of transport and generator of economic growth for people across Ireland. The Strategic Rail Review will assist in and inform and then look for, and I look forward to it being completed later this year, which I hope might inform the debate about reopening the King's Court line. Minister, and I, 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 am, I was always very struck by yourself in opposition because I know when I was in opposition too, I think you always uh, admired the fact about the ambition I have for that rail line coming to a county uh, along the border in Cavan. And of course, we know that if you draw or if you look at the map of Ireland uh, and you look to see where I suppose the main arteries and the main um, infrastructure is, you know, you can draw a line from Dublin to Galway and north of that we really have, I suppose as a state, neglected that part of this island. And I am really hopeful, Minister, with you there. I know Meath County Council is doing terrific work in ensuring that the rail line comes to Navan. And I think we need to be ambitious. I think we need to be, uh, I suppose, ambitious for the whole border region and start to look at that. And I know there's great work done there with the, with the Greenway in terms of the existing rail line that's there. There. But I think alongside that, alongside that, we need to have the ambition and we need to encourage our local authorities to do it with the support uh, of your department and relevant um, areas to ensure that they do have that kind of ambition, that there are those kind of plans put in place. Um, there are two or three different issues here, but they all have the same one connecting issue that it, it does involve increased connectivity to the north and west. Um, uh, Navan Rail, north and west of Dublin, first of all in relation to Navan, and, and that has been assessed now as part of the draft Greater Dublin Area Strategy, and I agree with the assessment that the case is made and, and that it is, it, it is now included, or will be included once the GDA strategy is, is uh, um, made fully legal in our plans. It will take time, and the constraints there isn't uh, a lack of ambition or a lack of uh, urgency, but there is one reality we also have to face, we have something like already within the existing transport projects in the planning process about 70 billion euros worth of projects. And we have a 35 billion euro budget this decade. And uh, that's a real constraint and a real challenge and real difficulty. But it doesn't undermine the case for that, for that extension or that line to Navan. That then, perceive if it proceeds, starts to bring the question, well, could you go further? Could you go from Navan uh, along the old... Um, route towards King's Court. And you could even consider, if you were really hugely ambitious, to think, well, that was an original line right the way up Monaghan, Oma, Straban, um, into Derry. And, and I, I do think part of the strategic rail review, recognising that the northwest of our island has been neglected in terms of transport connectivity, in that really big long-term context, it does make sense. But it's much more challenging because that rail line has been, not been used for a significant period. Perhaps it could be 
uh, we could look at, there's quite a lot of industrial and quarrying and other activities in that part of the country. Would that be a way of reopening the line in a way of, of holding the reservation, getting trains back, and then seeing can passenger services follow on? Now, um, when it comes to the northwest, then, in, in terms of the Western Rail Corridor... I'd like to take this opportunity to invite you to come and walk that stretch of rail line with me from Navan to Kingscourt. Maybe not in its entirety. And as I said, there is incredible work being done in developing it as a greenway. But as I said, I really do believe we need to be ambitious. And we need to have a vision of reopening that as a rail line to Kingscourt. Because the potential of that to open the entire border region is huge. I would just remind you, Minister, there's a huge proportion of the population in Cavan, Monaghan, that actually commute to Dublin. And if we are serious about getting traffic off our roads, that is the way to do it. And I know you wholeheartedly believe that. But obviously, our local authorities um, and Erin Row there need, I suppose, the support of government to actually have that ambition, have that imagination and lay down the plans. And as my colleague has said, net, let's not allow these rail lines to rot into dust. We have a real opportunity. There is a climate emergency out there. I don't need to tell you that. You've been preaching that to us for long enough. Let's do something about it. Let's have that ambition and reopen that rail line. You're right. We, um, we have a real challenge in the Cavan Mon and people commuting into Dublin is very significant. And, and, uh, and they're coming into a city that's going to be not going to have the same road capacity. When we introduced the Bus Connect scheme, all those cars coming from long distance commuting and vans and trucks are going to be meeting a Dublin road network that's at capacity and restricted in terms of access. So the commuting, the remote working that will come post-COVID may help in that regard and may help towns and villages in Cavan, Monaghan see a big revival. What my colleague Minister Heather Humphreys is doing with these new hubs, I think it's a real opportunity to rethink how the whole way we work and we, and we commute. Um, now, rail we can also provide a hugely useful component in that and will help us meet our climate targets as well as address commuting. I come back, though, that there is um, there's a constraint here, and that's capital in terms of... Uh, even for if we do the next decade, what we're doing this decade, the existing projects in it would eat up all that money. And every part of the country is looking at, you know... Uh, rail projects that, and, and, bus and, and rural bus projects that we have to fund. The Connecting Ireland plan, I think, is the most hugely significant, important investments we have to prioritise. And so, therefore, there is, there is a challenge in, in terms of uh, how we prioritise or, or, or how we do it. But I would not rule it out because I do believe I would go further in terms of reallocating more of our roads funding towards public transport that might help us overcome some of that difficulty. But that's something we have to agree on politically, and that will be a real challenge, as you know.